Business Development Office and has a very unique story of uh, how, our, uh, how that office is looking at issues in, um, in the opportunities for cancer prevention. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are pleased to present the strategic model towards global oncology. With the focus, number one, is to develop that unique oncology index from a distinct set of scored identifiers. To take that index and map it across the group, and to look deeper into this unique index specific for each country for identifying any opportunities that may exist towards eliminating cancer. As with any program, we started with the extensive literature search. Among the global cancer registries, three of them uh, stood high. The cancer incidence as a percentage of population, cancer mortality as a percentage of population, and the economic burden of cancer. So these studies clearly reveal strength in the epidemiology description of the cancer the cancer rates, cancer projection across the countries. But it did not present clearly the specificity that is coming from each country towards these cancers, as well as any type of action plan originating for eliminating cancer. So thus, the focus of our study was to look at the economic development, the incidence rate, the mortality rate, and the country-specific variables like education, health, safety and security, entrepreneurship, personal freedom, social capital, and so on. You may guess these are like n number of variables that need to be studied, and it's a multi-year program. Fortunately, we found out there is an index called Legantum Prosperity Index, which covered 89 such variables from up to 142 countries. So we created a unique oncology index combining all of these factors to look into the cancer factor which will tell us what is the readiness of each country towards eliminating cancer. Our approach was fourfold. Started with data collection from 177 countries. We categorized data based on these variables. We scored them, ranked them, created the index called JV index, recognizing the two individuals who worked diligently towards creating the specific index, and generated a heat map which ranged from the row the scoring we used were standard scores, 30 representing the high score, 10 representing the weak score, the economic score advanced with 30, less developed with 10, incidence and mortality, we put our weightage in the mortality factor, less mortality scored higher compared to low incidence and high incidence, prosperity index, as you may guess, high prosperity scored high, followed by the low prosperity. Our preliminary findings were the max bucket for the JV index 140 to 150, from an economic standpoint, rank the high advanced economies. From incidence and mortality, the low incidence and low mortality rank the highest. From legatum, medium to high prosperity country rank high. From the median bucket, the economies range from high to medium. Incidence and mortality still top with low to low, but there is also substantial high to high incidence and mortality and the legatum <coughs> from medium to high and with very little low. The lowest bucket with economy is definitely low as we may have predicted, but the incidence and mortality will still cap with low incidence and low mortality, high incidence and high mortality were following that, and the legatum with low and um, high in a statistically significant manner. So opportunities to eliminate cancer, we clearly came to the conclusion that with a high JV index score, you have all the different parameters set up in the country where the possibility of eliminating a cancer type might be higher, followed by the medium score and the low score. We use this index to map the globe to see how the globe looks like. The red presented the least opportunity, followed by orange and the yellow colors. Observed gaps, 
the limitation of the data, the quality, accuracy, and the completeness of the data presented challenges to the study, the Lagato Prosperity Index, which we depended on collecting all of these different variables, was presented only for 142 countries, and the standardized non-availability of standardized data definition also presented the unique challenges. The potential next steps towards this study is to refine the JV index with a consultation from the subject matter experts of the country, conducting studies into a deeper level for disease sites, as well as the lowest unit of geography, to see how these ranges will behave, and also to derive an action plan for eliminating cancer specific for each country, working with the leaders of the country from different segments. This study would not have been possible without the support of Mr. Brown, Executive Director of the Business Development Unit, and with four people spending their weekends and nights, Angela, Jenny, David, and Kristen. Thank you very much. We are here for any questions or any thoughts to take the study to the next level. Thank you.